We have the cat, squirrel and the penguin in the background are all ready to play the game Catch Me If You Can. They seem excited. What about you dear? Now let's make use of our arrow keys to move them. We will be using the arrow keys to move the sprites. All of our sprites have to run. The catcher should run to catch the other two, while the other two have to run in order to escape from the catcher. Well, well, coding is quite simple on your platform. There are blocks to help us. So first, get the vent block and place it in the workspace. Click on the drop down arrow and choose the right arrow. By the way dear, there is an important thing to remember here. We will be using a brilliant trick here. With a single right arrow key, we will be moving all the three sprites in different directions. Well dear, from the block palette, get the move block and place it below the vent block. We can set the movement of the cat first. The cat is already selected in the block. To select the direction, click on the drop down arrow and select the right direction. So, the cat will move towards the right. Hey dear, how do you think we became like this from a little infant? At first, we started to walk. When we got the hang of walking, we started to hop, then kick and also skip. And later, we gradually developed to more advanced gross motor skills like jumping, running, kicking and climbing. Well, gross motor skills are abilities that allow us to perform tasks that require the use of major muscles in our torso, legs and arms. They involve full body movements. Running is a part of the gross motor domain of development. Next, we can give movement to the penguin. Drag and drop the move block in the workspace. Click on the drop down arrow and choose the penguin. After that, to set the movement, click on the drop down arrow and choose the left direction. Thus, when the right arrow is pressed, the penguin will be moving in the left direction. Finally, we need the movement of the squirrel. Get the move block and place it in the workspace. Click on the drop down arrow and select the squirrel. Now let's give him movement. Click on the drop down arrow and select the down direction. Oh, you look a bit confused. Let me explain the concept to you little one. Just clicking the right arrow key can move the players to the left, right and down direction. It's that simple dear. Next. Let's see what will happen when we click the left arrow key. First of all, take the vent block and drop it in the workspace. We need the left arrow. So click on the drop down and choose the left arrow. We will be following the same steps as we coded for the right arrow. Now get the move block and drop it under the vent block. We will be setting the movement of the cat first because the cat is set in the block. Click on the drop down and choose the left direction. The cat will move to the left when the left key is pressed. So next, let's set the movement for the penguin. Drag the move block and place it in the workspace. Click on the drop down arrow and choose the penguin. After that, to set the movement, click on the drop down arrow and select the right direction. Lastly, bring the move block to the workspace. Now, we should set the movement for the squirrel. Therefore, click on the drop down arrow and select the squirrel. The squirrel should move up. The upward direction is already set in the block. So, there is no need to change it. That's done dear. We coded it in such a way that when the left arrow key is clicked, the sprites will move to the left, right and up directions. Hey little one, did you notice that we coded the movements of the sprite to move to the left and right? They should also run up and down to escape from the chaser. So let's code for the up and down movements also. To start with, get the vent block and place it in the workspace. With the up arrow key, we will be moving all of them in three different directions. From the block palette, 
take the move block and place it below the when block as always we will start with the cat the cat sprite is already selected in the block this time the cat will move in the up direction therefore there is no need to change the direction because it is already an up arrow in the move block the second one is the penguin drag and drop the move block in the workspace click on the drop down arrow and choose the penguin now to set the movement click on the drop down arrow and choose the down direction oh the penguin will be moving in the down direction when the up arrow is clicked the one remaining is our squirrel get the move block and place it in the workspace click on the drop down arrow and select the squirrel now to give him movement click on the drop down arrow and select the left direction finished we gave movements to all the three so while clicking the up arrow key the sprites will move to the up down and left directions so my friend we made use of the left right and up arrow keys the last key to be used is the down arrow key let's quickly finish off that step hey dear the game catch me if you can that our friends are going to play has different names all across the globe and also has its different variants interesting isn't it i'll tell you a few of its names and forms tag is probably the most popular well known and the enjoyable version of this game it's called running and catching in india and catch and cook in the middle east talking about its variants they are uncountable cops and robbers cookie jar tag duck duck goose and many more take the when block and place it in the workspace the down arrow key will help us move the sprites in different directions click on the drop down arrow and change the up arrow to down arrow after this get the move block and place it below the when block we will start with the cat the cat sprite is already selected in the block it wants to move in the down direction so how to help him great dear just click on the drop down arrow and select the down arrow in the move block next is the penguin's turn drag and drop the move block in the workspace click on the drop down arrow and choose the penguin then click on the drop down arrow and select the right arrow in the block thus the penguin will be moving in the right direction the last and final player is the squirrel take the move block and fix it in the workspace click on the drop down arrow and select the squirrel he will be moving in the upward direction thus there is no need to change the direction in the block done hmm did all the scoring make you tired dear i know no way right as always you look fresh and energetic oh i'm so glad that we finished all the important steps when the down arrow is clicked the three sprites will move in the down up and right directions little one you're so great to work with our friend harry would be so happy to see us help him by the way why not check what we have coded till now i'm sure you'll be super excited to see a cat up chasing the other two click on the reset option first to reset the positions now click on the run option wow we have all the three dearest sprites in the background hmm they are having a very busy conversation oh let me see what they're talking about oh i see they have decided to play our favorite game catch me if you can rex will be the catcher it's time for us to join the game as you know we can make use of all the four keys we see below the output window to move them let's try clicking all of them one by one and check out whether they move correctly as we coded wonderful dear everything works just we hope for yay i'm so happy to see a game working splendidly all of them moved in different directions with the use of the arrow keys just as we expected them to